Yes, finals footy for 2021 has arrived and we are kicking it off with a beauty on Queensland's Sunshine Coast. It's 1v4, Melbourne and Manly. And one team is about to move within 80 minutes of the NRL Grand Final. Ryan Pappenhausen is to kick off. Running right to left, Melbourne. Running towards the northern end of Sunshine Coast Stadium and playing for the the Proven Summons Trophy, the Telstra Premiership, and welcome to the finals again. Picked up and taken back by Tapao. I was going to say he'll struggle to get back, but then I remembered it was Martin Tapao. And so this is Alloy A, the other middle forward for Manly, and they're on top of the 10-metre line in the central corridor of the ground. And Tapao taking a second. Lawton is the dummy half in the side for Lachlan Croker, who was a late withdrawal yesterday. So Croker out of the game and Lawton playing in 15. Born up at Mewillam Bar, played with Burley, his junior football. Here's Cherry Evans looking for a hole, put down by Harper, advantage applies. And away goes Smith, turns it away inside there for Lumi Lumi. He'll make it. Lumi Lumi scores the first try for the Melbourne Storm and the first of the match. Against the run of play. Martin Tapel will go forward. Harvey Norman replay. Gets the offload. They move the ball quickly. I think Harper should have stayed out here. Comes back underneath, just drops the ball. And then who else? Brendan Smith just gets there and competing. Ball goes back inside, drops the ball. Brendan Smith just competes harder than anyone else. Fens gets an offload inside to Lumi Lumi. Thought Saab had him then for speed, but he was off. He's converted. That's the key around the ruck. If Tom gets over the advantage line, they're going to chop his legs. Can't go high on him. Hughes again, taken by Tapao. It crept up. Brandon Smith. Cameron Munster. Knee infection had him in doubt up until I guess this morning. There's Jesse Bromwich, try line very much in their sights now. Inside the 10, Munster sweeps it back for a second man. And Kenny Bromwich, he thinks he's got himself a try. And unless there's a, a promotion of the football, I think this will be a try. Momentum takes Kenny Bromwich to the try line. The ball is on the ground. We have a decision. This is going to be a try. Harvey okay. Norman replay. First try, they dropped the ball. This try, Martin Tapao gave away a cheap penalty. But we're only 10 minutes in. They look well in control here, the Storm. Play on! Steal here by Munster on Harper. Five away from the line. Here they come again. Munster. Well, he's, he's deemed to have knocked on, I fancy. I'm really lost the Okay. He's going to challenge. No, no, he broke early enough. Push in the back of the As head. As Cameron Munster goes to play the ball, Harmoli Olakowatu interferes with him. We have it. The challenge is successful. It'll be a penalty. So it's come away to Bromwich again, both the Bromwiches there, with Ken driving towards the line, falling that far out, just a couple of metres on the last. Oh, beautiful ball away. Welsh has scored. Melbourne's got number three. Well, we've got Cameron Smith sitting down on the sideline, and, and this is what he was really good at. And Brandon Smith just gets out with a little bit of craft, Waits for his ball runners to come onto the football and hit the hole. And just watch Christian Welsh. Harvey Norman replay outside Jake Jaboyevich. And they just hit the hole close to the line. Beautiful pass by Brandon. We, we know he's a runner of the football. Already 11 tries himself this year. But that's his nine try, nine try assist. Pappenhausen then to convert. And he does. 16-0 to score. Smith. Decides to have a go. Or should I say have a scamper? He's more than had a go. He's been very strong, but he's hurt here.
You're right, mate. It's just a head clash. You always got something to say. It's just a head telling clash. Us head, it's a head clash. Off. That man is um, Aloy. Alo it's, it's, it's just a head clash. And you can see it clearly there. Just why it's a head clash. The head of Aloy A and the head of Brendan Smith. Wow, well, well, that man is human. He's got the hardest head in the world, but he felt that, that head clash from Alloy A. So a long ball to Pappenhausen at first, and then to Grant at second, then to Hughes, and he's tackled just outside the 20 metre line. Tackled by Jake Trebojevic. And uh, six more tackles has been called, and now a penalty has been awarded. Pappenhausen takes them out. To 18 nil will break. Cherry Evans picking it up and getting rid of Munster. Breaking another tackle, eventually held by Ollum. Plays it on the Melbourne 40 metre line. And Manley put it up in the air. Taken over there by Jennings. And the penalty going to Manley. A couple of metres away now, up the other end, the southern end of this ground. And a barging attempt by Lawton, he came up short. Came up empty. But so, so close. Trebojevic, and swept away by Cherry Evans. Brilliant work, and Harper, Harper gets the first points for Manley. I think they've called this forward. Oh, my God. There's no way in the world this was forward. That didn't look forward. It's a forward pass. You see, Loomy, Loomy come. Well, he's caught the ball Honestly. in the same position as Cherry Evans threw it. no time ever to write them to your players about where they're standing on the field oh. and where they're in that position. Okay. So, Trebojevic. Penalty going to Manley. To Harper. Cherry Evans. A deft kick. Looking for the leg, and he's got it, Saab! Saab has got it on the second catch, and the ref has pointed to the spot. Well, Daly's gone to his gun jumper, and Jason Saab, that's his 24th try of the season, and he jumps like the best of them in the NRL. Do you think he used his body here to move Loomy Loomy before he caught the ball? Well, the good jumpers jump early. You see in the AFL, and the good jumpers in the NRL, they... They jump early and they, are, they own the space as Garrick moves in. And it's coming around nicely. So 18 to 6 in favour of Melbourne, the defending premiers. A grubber, well weighted Harry Grant and coming across brilliantly was Trebojevic. And now for uh, Munster to come away to Pappenhausen. They won't stop Pappy. Ryan Pappenhausen goes in to score Melbourne's fourth try. Cameron Munster drifts across the field. Harvey Norman replay and then just accelerates onto the ball. Shows it as if he's going to kick it. Pappenhausen and then just goes, slices through this, this right-hand side. Daly Cherry Evans just grasping at thin air. Nearly got the mullet. But Melbourne, just before half-time, they strike. So here's the kick from Pappenhausen, successful. The 22, or 24, plays six at halftime. First 10 or 15 minutes will be really important. Just try to kick, kick early, and try to challenge my forwards. That's the man on screen who needs to do it. Challenge my forwards to get down there and try to force an error. Here they go now. So, Jerry Evans kicking on three, and the weight is good, and it's into the corner. So now it's up to Jennings to work it out. And what, what that early kick does is it forces the Melbourne Storm forwards to turn around and, and takes them three or four sets, three or four tackles, sorry. As we Olam. see Justin Olam. Olam has beaten a couple, got it back to Grant. Here comes Pappenhausen looking for another. Oh, swerves away. One of the Manly players limping. Pappenhausen puts it over the line. Brendan Smith leads the cheer squad on the bench. Harvey Norman replay. One goes in. That was the big man on the edge, Paseca. And Harper was going out. And then they just pull their pants down. Harry Grant, beautiful pass on the inside. And then Pappenhausen. I think Saab's done a hammy. 
You had a big man defending out wide, Paseca. He comes flying in, and then Harper's going out. Just no combination there defensively. Billy? Well, we talked about the evolution of the Melbourne Storm attack this year, and, and they can strike from absolutely anywhere. And you see Harry Grant in the background. He started it and got the ball to his key man, Cameron Munster. 28-6 so is 28-8 now. But a second try for Ryan Pappenhausen. Enlarging the score, it's out to 30 to 6. And that's the last thing that. Oh, is that throw it up? To you? No, that. What's I think, happened there? I think Hughes recovered in time, but Munster has eventually taken it over. And Hughes, he did recover and then bounced back himself. Everything's legit. But then Munster's got this, this big ring. This, Jerry Evans on the last, putting it up and across towards Parker. The bat down taken by Trebojevic. The ball bounces for Garrett. It's there for Harry Grant to clean up, and he's forced it. Line drop out again. Grant was plenty on the blind side. The kick through, and he tries to bat it back, Remus Smith. But Manly are on their way out to the 20 for the restart with Garrett. Goodness. Oh, oh, he's made a oh. meal of it. Saab! He might have done a hamstring, but I'll tell you what, he's, he's performed a miraculous run. Determined. Hang in. Hang in. That's what he did. It's it's come off for the Manly Seagulls. Harvey Norman replay. Ruben Garrett gets back to the middle of the field and just punts it down, straight down the middle. And Lumi Lumi looks like he's got it covered, and, and then it just comes off his shoulder. Saab picks it up. And this might be exactly what Manly needed to get back into this contest. What was he thinking, Joey? Might be the problem, probably was thinking. You could hear the footsteps. So Garrett converts the, the Saab try. Oh, Hughes. Ooh, horizontal. Perhaps. Well, Hughes is down, and Schuster and Grant have a disagreement. They've got a bit of a history of it, these two sides. It's going to be a penalty here for the dangerous tackle. Not seeing eye to eye, as we've pointed out. No seven. There was a high shot on Brett Stewart that took him out of a grand final. That didn't help. But uh, they've got a little history of. Of dislike for each other. Grant did well, got it back to Hughes. He came back quickly. That pass in from Harry Grant wow. was just out of this world. They can just strike from anywhere in that, that danger out of dummy half. Boy, it's impressive. So Pappenhausen puts another two on the board for the Premiers. 20 point lead. Hughes. Getting it away, Munster stepping, standing, unloading, Pappenhausen grubbering, Hines after it, battered dead by Saab. This ball eventually bouncing and going backwards, Kafusi, Remus Smith putting a fend on Garrett, it's going into touch, is it? No, and Garrett saves for Manley and then thrusts the ball back in field. What's this ruling? It's a penalty to Melbourne. Ruben Garrett pushes him off the ball. So it's a push Archie. in the back. Garrett impeding the man. Garrett, come back. And Melbourne have got this ball, but Welsh had it and lost it. Well, look who's there. Christian Welsh. Billy, does it worry you that you've played with some of the players you'd be coaching? Not at all. That, 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 that's not a worry to me. Will you take Cameron Smith with you? <laughs> I'm not there yet. <laughs> so this has found the line. It's a good kick. It's a 40-20. Dominated the game from the start. Capitalised on errors. Now they've got another try. 
And it's been scored by Justin Ollum. He knows how to celebrate. Well, this is the icing on the cake for the Melbourne Storm. There's a beautiful offload by Nelson Ussel for Solomona. And Justin Olam, look at them celebrate. They know they're in a prelim final in a fortnight's time. Well, they might, in fact, almost certainly, they're going to fall short of that uh, number they've been firing at all year long at 40. They really just shot! So Pappenhausen goes for a two-pointer. He's got it. And it, it's actually through. I thought for a moment it was away to the right. A two-point field goal to uh, Ryan Pappenhausen. Well done. <laughs> Here I was writing them off with 90 seconds to go. And they decided let's have a little a practice run in case we need it for the preliminary final to come. The Melbourne winning 40 points to 12 over Manly.